there's so much drama going on right now. Hey, what is up all my social climbing friends? It's Dustin and I am back with another video. The tea lately has been like nothing. Like we haven't had anything, but Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson blessed us yesterday and I wanted to come on here and give my thoughts and my opinions and my feedback on this trailer that was posted yesterday. However, before I get into that, I do want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video, Adam and Eve. You guys know that they have been incredibly good to me. They are great. And you guys should definitely go check them out for all of your adult needs. I know that you guys have been using code Dustin a lot. I appreciate that. Adam and Eve is a great company. They offer 24 seven support, 90 day hassle free returns, and they contribute 20% of their profit towards the fight of AIDS. So you guys should definitely go over there, use code Dustin, you get 50% off one item and you get free shipping to Canada as well as the United States. Some exclusions do apply. I will have all of that info down in the description box of this video. And let me know what you got over on Twitter. A lot of people have been sharing what they got. It's kind of interesting to see some of the things that people have purchased using my code. But thank you Adam and Eve for keeping the lights on because YouTube is a really funny place right now. So you guys, if you're anything like me, you were waiting yesterday for this video to upload on Shane's channel where he is going to outline Jeffree Star's life. Now, I do want to say that initially I thought that this was going to be like a behind the scenes of the beauty community type of thing and I still think it is however I think that it's uniquely disguised as the beautiful life of Jeffree Star and I think that that sounds like some kind of documentary that you would see like on MTV about like pop culture and things like that and YouTube especially like in the beauty community has become something like that it's kind of like a drama and I don't mean like drama channels or drama between people I mean it's like a drama that we all watch and that we all get invested in because we feel like we know these people because they share so much of their lives Lives. You guys know that Jeffrey and Nate are very open when it comes to their relationship. They share a lot of what they do with one another and how they interact and Shane is that way with Ryland as well and that was something else that was very interesting to me about this particular video is you would see clips of Jeffrey going to all these different events and things like that and then it would like flash and you would see like Ryland and Shane and you've seen Shane proposing to Ryland and then Shane was putting makeup on Andrew's face. It was a very well done trailer because it left me wanting more. In this trailer we also seen merch. We know that it's coming with Jeffree Star's collab with Shane. We all know that he's coming out with the palette. We still don't know the times or the dates or anything like that, but there was piggy merch. He had on a piggy backpack. There was even a piggy mirror. And I'm just here to say that all of my friends and family are gonna be getting these piggy backpacks and mirrors for Christmas. Also, I just wanna say the song that Shane used in this, it was very emotional. I actually need to go put that in my library over on Apple Music because it was very fitting because we know throughout this entire thing with Jeffree Star being on YouTube and coming up on social media that he's had his heart hurt. He's been done very dirty by other people here on social media and I'm not gonna say that Jeffrey hasn't done his share of dirt because obviously he probably has but it's very common that we see Jeffrey go through friends and I am very much like Jeffrey in that sense. I will cut you off in a heartbeat. I'm a Scorpio for those of you that don't know Jeffrey Star and I do share the same birthday. He is two years older than me but I do think that we are very much similar in the way that we act and the things that we do as far as like our communication with people like if you do us dirty we cut you off and there's nothing wrong with that. Now getting into the T of the video now, if you guys watch this, your jaw probably dropped about three quarters of the way through when you seen Tati on the screen and then we seen Shane Dawson crying. You guys check this out. There's then a clip of Shane Dawson watching James Charles' social blade tank because you guys remember when all of this happened, James Charles lost like what, 3 million subscribers in like a matter of two or three days. And then it flashes to James Charles' video of Tati where he apologized to her the first time that's now deleted on his channel. I don't really think that anybody was really anticipating this. And I do think that James Charles is probably shaken right now because he probably didn't expect this either. Because you guys remember going back to all of this, I think that James Charles actually um followed Shane. And at one point in time, they all had collaboration videos together. Rylan had a video with James Charles and James Charles had a video with Shane. So they were good friends at one point in time. I don't really know what this is going to outline or how it's going to go down, but I do know that there is going to be a lot of tea in this. Initially when this idea came out and they put this out into the world that they were going to do like, like this docu-series, I had no idea that it was gonna be like centered around Jeffree Star. I thought it was gonna have like bits and pieces of Jeffree Star, of him spilling the tea on the beauty community per se, 
but I didn't know that it was going to be like revolved around him. I kind of do like that aspect of it because I'm here to say we all know that Jeffree Star lives a very like interesting life. He's a very interesting person. Some people don't like him, but the amount of people that like him and love him far outweigh the people that don't like him in my opinion. Hashtag payroll, you guys. I have to say that. My check's coming in the mail tomorrow. Just kidding. There was some interesting stuff that I seen on Twitter. It's not really that much, but Ethan Dolan tweeted out and said, a lot of crazy things have been going on in my life recently. Some not so great. I'm a big believer in the fact everything happens for a reason. I just didn't know what reason those shitty things kept happening for. Today, the reason presented itself loud and clear. Life is good. Ethan also followed that up by saying, if you're going through a tough time, try not to dread the future. Instead, look forward to it. It may hold something great for you that you may not have been able to even imagine. I know it may sound cheesy, but it's really true. Now, Shane Dawson liked this, and Jeffree Star actually liked the first tweet that Ethan put out. There's a lot of skepticism about everything that happened with James Charles and Jeffree Star. I do believe that Shane is going to get into this because if you guys remember his TanaCon series, although I think Shane went a little easy on Tana because Tana seems really fragile to me in my opinion, I don't think that he's going to do that with Jeffree Star. I do think that he's going to ask him the hard-hitting questions that everybody wants to know about in regards to James Charles. Now, enough about James Charles, if you remember anything, you guys know the mega fallout that happened between Manny, Nikita, Jeffrey, and Laura, all of those people when John Mageddon 1 happened. There's also a clip in this video where they're in the Morphe store, and when I say there, I mean Jeffrey and Shane. And I'm assuming it's at one of the launch parties that Jeffrey Star attended. You see Shane zoom in on Manny, so I'm pretty sure that Manny's gonna have a segment in this as well. I've seen a lot of people on Twitter actually like speculating that maybe Manny and Jeffrey are going to be friends after this. I'm here to tell you, I don't think that that's gonna happen. I just don't think that they're gonna be friends anymore because like I said in the beginning of this video, once you do somebody like Jeffrey Dirty, it's snip snip. I think that he's like done with you and there's nothing wrong with that. You are not entitled to be in someone's life after you've done them wrong. Now, I'm not saying that Manny done Jeffrey any dirtier than Jeffrey done Manny. I don't know the logistics or anything that really went in behind that relationship. You guys know I talk to Jeffrey, not often, but I don't go digging around in his personal life. It's literally about like Twitter and things like that. We've never really got personal about anything because I'm just not that type of person to pry into any one's life. There is one more interesting thing about this whole trailer that I did clock when I was looking around on the video. Shane Dawson always uses the same set of like default upload tags when he makes videos and in this video I noticed that he used Shane, Dawson, Jeffrey, Star, Journalism, Investigative Journalism, docu-series, and Documentary. And I really don't think that Shane is going to disappoint us with this. I just feel like there's going to be so much that's going to come out of this series. I don't know how many videos it's going to be. Obviously it's going to be at least two or three parts. It has to be maybe like three, four, or five parts, no one shame because he makes these really long videos. But I'm here for every bit of it. I'm just bowling over with anticipation, honestly. Like, I feel like this is going to be major. And maybe it might get some things out there in the open that we may not have known publicly before. Maybe about Manny, Jeffrey and James. I don't know. But you guys, I really want to know what your thoughts are on all of this. I know that a lot of you are going to be tuning in because the tweets that I was putting out yesterday, they were getting so many likes and so much interaction about this. Everybody is like so excited about this because you guys know that Shane really puts his heart and soul into everything and I'm really excited for this series. It will be very interesting to see how all of this plays out and how everything goes and I think that we're going to be in for a, a very rough, emotionally riveted series ahead. But you guys, let me know what you think about all this down below. Again, I want to thank Adam and Eve for sponsoring this video. You guys, go use code Dustin. Get 50% off one item. Enjoy yourself. Have a good time. And let me know what you think down below. I hope you all have the most amazing day ever. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.